Hey guys, this is your friend Vita Martin from, of course, Girl Zone Gaming. And this is my second vlog, so we're gonna call this vlog number two. Also, if you are enjoying these videos, go ahead, hit that like button, of course, subscribe, because then you will see me smiling every day. Anyway, <laughs> uh, digress. I'm going to reshape these vlog videos because I want to help a lot of people, and I think the best way to helping people is to share the knowledge that I've acquired during this whole uh, journey and the journey I'm talking about is how I became partnered on twitch.tv and how to become a better streamer and to follow streamer etiquette and to do the best you can networking as a streamer this video is an introductory to that so I'm hoping you guys watch this video and get psyched and hyped up and go ahead and keep on watching the videos as they come along probably five days a week every day okay so today basically what I want to talk about is um, how to grow your viewership on Twitch. Now, I know there are a lot of videos out there with all the special graphics, and there are a whole bunch of analytics, and there are a whole bunch of posters, and a whole bunch of this, and a whole bunch of that. But I am, I am a partnered broadcaster, twitch.tv forward slash gozone gaming. I'm also a sponsored broadcaster with SteelSeries, also partnered with Discord, and other, other, uh, uh, affiliations that I'm soon working with so yes I am successful I am getting successful I'm getting my name out there and uh, a lot of notable streamers big streamers do know who I am and uh, people like Swifter Future Man Gaming uh, these are all good buddies of mine uh, Wow Hobbs uh, you can you name it a lot of big broadcasters do know who I am because I'm networking and getting my name out there that being said uh, I don't write the coattails of any of them they know who I am. I respect their craft. They respect me. And I don't sit by asking for any handouts. I don't ask anybody to raid me. I don't ask anybody to uh, do a little bit more than they should. They just respect me as a broadcaster. Respect me as somebody who's trying to make it in the business and give me the same con courtesy they got when they were coming up in the business. That being said, of course, I want to say that there's a way to network where you don't sound like a little dog in a corner looking for a bone. There's a way to network. There's a way to get your name out there without looking so pathetic that people overlook you. And I know because I fell into those traps where I was being overlooked because I looked like a little puppy when I first started streaming three years ago. Um, I want to say that there are things to do and there are things not to do. And again, we're going to get into that in the following videos as they come in, maybe tomorrow and then Friday. But today I'm just giving you an overall look of what these new vlogs are going to be. So we're going to get into what not to do when you're broadcasting, not what not to do when you're networking in the broadcasting area. We're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of being a broadcaster. Uh, we're going to talk about how to grow your channel successfully in a way that you can see it in a way where the numbers show it. And I know a lot of people say it's not about the numbers, but if you're trying to grow as a broadcaster, if you're trying to get uh, known in the community, if you're trying to build a business, numbers will matter. Regardless of what people say, numbers will matter. Now, there are some people that stream just for fun, just for fun as a hobby. They're not trying to make a career out of it, and that's fine. So to all of those people, don't worry about that. <laughs> those videos. But to those who are just curious, I've got a little bit of an inside. I know uh, what it takes, how to do it, and it takes a lot of effort, and it takes a lot, a lot of uh, perseverance. Uh, you're going to get a lot of no's. No's are a big thing in this industry. They start, the first thing you're probably going to get is a no. And it's just going to happen. You take that no. See how you react to that no. Embrace it. And then if you can see you can still go on, then maybe this is for you. If you can't take it and you feel really bothered and you can't go, you know, go on this path that's called streaming uh, to become a professional, then you should really, really, really rethink your strategies or rethink what you want to do because you need to grow a second skin, third, fourth skin when you're live streaming. People will come at you. The trolls will come at you. Your friends will be backstab you. It can get really ugly as you get more, more and more popular as a broadcaster and someone in the community. I'm not saying it's all ugly. Of course, great things happen. Uh, financial stability can happen. Uh, your dreams can come true. You can become popular. You can become noticed in the community. You can literally leave your mark on the gaming industry if that's what you want to do. You can branch out and do all the million and one things. But there is a dark side to this. And I'm going to talk to you guys all about those things and everything that can happen and everything that's happened to me as a broadcaster and uh, what you could expect as somebody breaking out. So I'm not going to get too much into it on how to get 
huge viewership in this video. This is just an introductory, and I'm hoping that tomorrow you'll be around so we can talk about how to really get par uh, partnered, how to really get into it, and I'll show you guys the ins and outs of streaming. And I'm happy, I'm happy that I'm going to do this because a lot of people are asking me questions, and now it's time for some answers. So if you enjoyed this video and you're ready for the journey, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment, ask questions. I am willing to add, uh, answer any questions you guys ask me, but do it because it, it can mean your success. <laughs> Remember, from all of us to all of you guys, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time on Ghost Zone Gaming.